Persona 5 has taken the world by storm, and it's been a series that really, you know, as a fan who's been in there since the beginning, I never thought it would ever become mainstream. And really, the reason it has become mainstream is because of the tonal shift with Persona 3, Persona 4, and the astronomical success that was Persona 5. Now, that's a game that originally came out on PlayStation 3, and then it came over to PlayStation 4, which a lot of people, that's where they first experienced it. And then, you know, one of the things that always was asked was like, when's it gonna come to the Nintendo Switch? You know, let's get this on Switch. We want Persona 5, 4, 3, you know, all those on Switch. And just the idea of having these games in a portable form factor. Let's just say that Atlas heard us and they decided that the first system they wanted to port it on outside of the PlayStation was the Xbox. <laughs> yes, I remember the announcement of it going to Xbox via Game Pass and people were furious. And then they said it was coming to PC, which means you can play it on Steam Deck. And then they said it was coming to the Switch, of which this review is covering both these versions. So all that being said, is Persona 5 Royal on the PC as well as on Steam Deck and also on the Switch and also on Xbox Series X and S, is it worth your time? Yeah, it is. Let's talk about it more. Before we kick this video off, I want to give a huge thank you to Sega Atlas for providing review copies of Persona 5 Royal for these platforms because yeah it's truly an experience being able to play them on these two platforms because it's you know pc then steam deck and then also on the switch it's just it's something you didn't think was going to happen and then when it finally does happen it's like wow it's amazing so we're going to talk about the performance gameplay you know all that good stuff so before we do all that make sure you like the video sub to the channel if you haven't already ding the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the content that comes from this channel all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the review. For those not familiar with the story of Persona 5 Royal, it's about a ragtag group of teenagers that gain the power of Personas to go on to become the Phantom Thieves and traverse the metaverse and try to get through the school year. Okay, well, I look, I know you're not here to talk about the story. You're here because you want to know how the game runs on the Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck, and I'm here to say that the game runs flawlessly on both. On the Nintendo Switch, especially on the OLED screen, the game just pops and feels like this is what it was meant to be experienced on with the beautiful screen. The game runs at 1080p 30 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch in docked mode and 720p 30 frames per second in handheld mode. On the Steam Deck, you have a variety of options to choose from when connected to a monitor or TV, as you can run the game on, you know, all the way up to 4K 60 frames per second, although this does have some dips, so I would more so say you know, the sweet spot is probably either 1440p or 1080p. Uh, while portably it runs at negative 800 by 1280 at 60 frames per second with settings maxed out. Unfortunately, on the Steam Deck, you can't get 16 by 10 aspect ratio, so you'll have black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. But a workaround for this is to lower the resolution to 720 and to up the render resolution to about 120%. That way you'll fill up the screen fully. If you can play this on a gaming PC, then you can run this all the way at 4K 120 frames per second if you wanted to. And the game does support ultra wide monitors. And it's cool being able to play using keyboard and mouse as opposed to just controller. What is also cool is the fact that you can, you know, use any controller, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation controller, and the game will change the icons for the buttons to reflect what you're playing with, which is neat. A downside of using keyboard and mouse is, you know, as your sole method of playing the game, is that some actions don't work, such as trying to select destinations using the mouse, as you'll need to utilize, you know, WASD, and... And for those who don't know what WAC is, those are the keys that you use to move play up, left, right, back, and such. That's your directional keys when you're playing games. And so, you know, some of the actions in battle will need you to use the WASD and the spacebar to select actions, so you can't just point and click. Gameplay-wise, P5R is the JRPG with social simulation added in, as you'll be able to go through various dungeons known as palaces, and also areas known as mementos, and when you're not in dungeons, then you have have to manage your time between hanging out with friends and doing various side quests and such. Let's start off with talking about the battle system before talking about the social aspect system. When roaming dungeons, you can get the surprise on the enemy by running up behind them or using the cover system allowing you to give, you know, to gain an advantage on them when the battle starts. It gets you like a preemptive start. 
Battles play out in a traditional turn-based style with a few twists added in to make them a bit more unique and give it a little extra flavor. As the game incorporates a unique event that's called One More. That happens when you hit an enemy with their weakness, being either physical or elemental, and allows you to get in some additional hits while delaying the enemy's ability to do anything. The One More system adds a lot more of not only strategy to the battle system, but also leads to giving battles a sense of momentum that will inspire you to keep that flow going. If you can down all enemies on screen, then you'll be able to initiate a holdup that will allow you to either lead your party into doing an all out attack, which can do massive damage, or chat with the demons to try and convince them to join the, your party by forging a contract or get some goodies like money and items. Aside from being able to negotiate with demons to get them to join your party, you can also go to the Velvet Room and conduct what's called Demon Fusion, which combines two demons together to form a new one with the newly fused being having some of the skills from the two former demons. Joker, unlike the rest of the party, is able to have more than one persona that he can use as well and switch between, so that'll often cost you a turn if you want to switch between the different personas, and it makes Joker the true wild card and jack of all trades of your party. The social aspect of the game has you navigating the town and the school to either progress the main story or to do various side quests. Given that each day has so much to do, you know, that you can do within it, You'll need to prioritize what you need and want to do as some quests and social links are timed and will gate themselves off after so much time passes. The benefit of social system is that if you want to maximize your characters, then you'll want to do as much of the side quests as you can and explore as much of the dungeons as you possibly can. Royal adds in an extra semester and two additional social links for you to dive into, making this already 100 plus hour JRPG that much meatier. So the final question here is, is Persona 5 Royal worth it on the PC and Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch? And also, is it worth it on the Xbox? And my answer to that question is yes, it most definitely is, as it's one of the greatest RPGs ever made that, unlike many others, respects your time and gives you the freedom to play it as you want. Having the ability to play it with max style settings on PC is an experience unto itself, and being able to play the game on the go with the Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck is absolutely amazing and one of the best ways to experience this gym. And also, if you've got Game Pass, you've got this free to play for at least a year. So, hey, there's no reason for you not to dive in. I mean, the Xbox is also a great place to play it. I mean, I do wish more JRPGs would come to the Xbox, but you know, that's a whole nother conversation right there. But honestly, if you haven't, or you have experienced this adventure, then I urge you to dive in and enjoy your time with the Phantom Thieves. And that's it. That's the review for Persona 5 Royal. Again, big shout out to Sega Atlas for providing a review copy of the game. And I want to know what you guys think. Are you playing this on Nintendo Switch? Did you pick up a physical copy or did you get it digitally? Or did you pick it up on Steam Deck or do you have Game Pass and you just automatically have access to it? Or did you pick it up on PlayStation 5 since that's the other uh, edition that's available? Unfortunately, it doesn't, you know, you can't do a digital upgrade to that one for some odd reason. But uh, what, what are your guys' thoughts? Let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below. And if you want to take the conversation further, hop on in the Discord. That way you can check out uh, various things. We talk about Steam Deck, gaming, movies, content, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. All that being said, I hope you guys have a great and aloha rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Be blessed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.